I'm Julie, and I am so sorry. It's been too long since I made a video. I have almost always bought like pre-made flowers and stuff, you know, to stick in all my pots. And this year, I germinated all my own seeds, and that was almost a mistake because man, I've been planting seeds for days. It seems like I don't ever want to see a seed again in my life. But they're all planted now. My rocks are all delivered. Hopefully I can start to get on track again. But this video is going to include this month's winner of my giveaway. And, okay, and I'm also going to be showing you all of the wonderful things that I have either found or re-found or been using this week and a half that I've just been loving and I've got so much stuff here. You know, I tried to narrow it down, and I'm like, no, i got to show them that, no, i got to show them that. <laughs> so let's just get started, because this is going to be a long video. The first thing that I have been loving this week, I was at CVS, and you guys know how I like my oils, you know, essential oils, I'll make my own. But I'm always up for trying a new one that you see in the, you know, whatever, for your hair or skin. And I have always liked to get that little organics in the blue bottle um, from Ulta. And I just get the small one, and I'll pour it in one of my little jars. You know, mix my essential oils in it and, you know, make my own, basically, out of the base of an argon that I buy off the, you know, off the shelf. Well, I was at CVS, and I saw this product right here, and it is the Mark Hill Miracoilus, Miracoilicious, Miracoilicious. <laughs> Pardon me, i got a frog in my throat. Um, Moroccan argan oil with Lang Lang, Palm Rosa, and an exotic blend of 14 essential oils and plant extracts. This has got everything in it that I would put in it out of my, you know, my secret mad scientist box. So I had to grab it. It was only $11.99 regularly, and of course with my discount and the coupon that I had, I think I got it for like 8 bucks, 7 8 bucks. It's fantastic, you guys. I love it. And look at this. It's almost two ounces, 1.69 fluid ounces. And it's a little pump bottle. Look at that. This stuff smells divine. Oh, my God. It smells so good. And it works just like you would want, you know, your hair oil to work. I mean, it's just wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, you know what I do with this? I put a couple. Well, with this, I just put one squirt in my hand that much. Okay, and then I will take my hands and rub them like this, and then I'll take the brush blow uh, hair curler that I use. It it blows, but it's got a rotating brush on it, and I'll take my hands and rub them. I kind of massage it into the bristles of the brush, and then I do my hair, and it makes my hair look like it was done by Chaz Dean. <laughs> I'm serious. If you don't know who that is, that's the guy who uh, created the wind line. I'm a wind girl. I used to be a wind girl, but then I lost so much hair that, you know, that, that it's an excellent product. You just, it doesn't really work on real fine, thin hair because it weighs it down. Anyways, yeah, um, if you got the hookup down at CVS, and it might be on that big old blowout sale they got going on right now. Um, yeah, wonderful. It's Mark Hill, just like Julie Hill, except no relation. <laughs> Mark Hill Merak Oilicious. Moroccan argan oil and I mean look at the bottle you can't miss that if you see it at the store and he also had a shampoo and conditioner and a hair mask and I wanted to get the hair mask but they only had one left and when I opened it to just look of it and you could tell people had stuck their fingers in it which of course I in turn did the same thing <laughs> and oh it looked divine and you know how I like my masks but it was the only one they had and I wasn't gonna yeah no so yeah Really, really good argan oil. Okay, second thing I've really been loving, and I don't really have to talk about this much because I think everybody knows about them, this Mally Shadow Stick that I got in my test tube. I love this freaking thing uh, on her website, and then she's got a couple places where you can get them like in two or threes and you get a little bit better of a deal, like 30 seconds to work with them, and they just blend out beautifully, I mean superbly. And you can blend them out with a powder product too. I mean, and it doesn't set them. They're just beautiful, and I must have them all. <laughs> and I and I will. I'm going to get them all. I just love them. Okay, the next thing I have been loving this week, and I showed you guys this in, I don't know, it was a Smiley's video quite some time ago. I picked up the flower uh, quad in Secret Garden. And last season, last year, the flower, the flower cosmetics really sucked. I didn't like anything that I tried. But then on a whim... 
the colors were so beautiful I had to pick this one up and again this is the one that's called in the garden or no secret garden in the garden sleek and I have been you can see the divots in it I have been wearing the crap out of this well I was in there the other day and they had several other ones when I was there but you know I'm not really a brown shadow wearing girl but when I did that tutorial on the soft look the other day I got so many compliments on that and even when I looked in the mirror I'm like hey old woman no <laughs> just kidding but I I liked how it looked and so I've been trying to incorporate a little bit more browns into my look because they do look good with brown eyes or with green eyes when I see it on other women so I don't know why I've never maybe it just wasn't loud enough you know <laughs> for the jewels anyways so I picked up foxy browns beautiful you guys these shadows they feel like cream they do they feel like they're some kind of a cream to powder they are so gorgeous I'm, I'm telling you, man, her company or her scientists or what the heck ever really stepped up their game from last year because these are just spectacular. I, I just, I can't get over how good they are. And that's the Foxy Browns right here. Uh, gorgeous. Every, it, absolutely worth 10 bucks. Absolutely. And I want to collect them all now just because they're so nice. Okay, the next thing I want to show you. What am I at? 10 minutes? Okay. Um, I think we've all seen this on the e.l.f. website. It's the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow. This little compact costs 10 bucks. So, you know, I have never... I saw what was in it. I know it's all shimmery, all glittery. No way. I'm not paying no 10 freaking dollars for six, six e.l.f. shadows. And this is what they look like. Super glitter bombs. Okay? Just glitter bombs, totally. Now, obviously, you're going to think a shadow from e.l.f. That's a glitter bomb. It's going to have some serious fallout. It's, you know, you know what I'm saying, okay? You know what I'm saying, okay? So I just passed it up, and I never got it, never got it. Well, the last sale that they had, that when they had that was 50% off, I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and shoot for it. So I am going to show you what this stuff looks like, okay? And you can see it's got a mirror in it. It's one of their nicer you know, one of their nicer little palettes. So, okay, take a look at this. I am just going to dip into, let's see, let's go for the purple because it's so beautiful. Okay, now look at this. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that color? Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And I think the angle that I was doing it at didn't even really do it justice. Let's try, let's try the gold one. You guys, this is so freaking gorgeous. Such a gorgeous. Look at that. Do you see that gold right there? Oh my gosh. I'm so happy that I picked this up. <laughs> I am. Um, let me pick up uh, like this white one here. Okay. Tap it off. And look at this beautiful wash. I mean, I'm barely touching. Uh, basically what I'm saying is just ridiculously pigmented. And I really haven't noticed a whole lot of bad fallout. I'm just, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed with these, you know. And that's with the crease brush. And you know what they reminded me of when I swatched them and saw that? L'Oreal Infallibles. You know, it's, it's not the same texture, but it's pretty dang close. It's like the Infallibles, but in a little compact or something. I don't know. But, if you guys happen to want a glitter bomb, you know, you want a palette that's got a variety of different glitters for whatever uses you might need. Okay, I ordered a NARS trio the other day, and it was the colors, because generally I do not spend that kind of money on a friggin' trio, <laughs> alright, serious. But these colors were so beautiful, I just had to do it. And I've been loving this so much, I just had to show ya. It's what I got on my eyes today. It's the High Society Trio. And gorgeous. It's so pretty, you guys. I don't know if you guys like those colors. This is a deep purple, a violet purple, and then the, the forest green. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. I am so happy that I picked this up. Isn't that pretty? And I've been wearing the crap out of it. I've already got little divots in it. So, yeah. I just wanted to show that in my in my video because I've been loving it that much. Okay, when I was down at Sally Beauty and picked up all that Femme Couture I told you guys about, I got this, and this was just on a whim, this was like 20 cents, okay, so I picked it up. It's the Sally Girl Blush, 
and it's in Rubor. It's just called Rubor or something. Or is that the word? It looks like it's it's written on here like Rubor is is blush in some other language. I don't know. But it just looks like something that would never show up on my skin. <laughs> and really it doesn't. As far as going on my cheeks or something, no. There it is on my hand, see? <laughs> you can't even see it. But let me tell you what this is good for. And I've been loving it. And I'm glad that it's in a blush size, I guess, if you could call that a blush size. I use this to blend my shadows out. And it works beautifully. You know, when you have to create your crease and you go way above your crease, you know, you don't, it doesn't leave you with a whole lot of space between that and your eyebrow. And I don't want to have color all the way up to my eyebrow. I think it looks overdone and hookerish and me, me off the drug, you know, Drew Carey showish. So I like to be able to blend that color out with something that is completely neutral and just kind of looks like my skin tone, but it blends it all out beautifully. And that's what this does. I love it for that. Now, for those of you that like a heavy highlight or something, you know, then this obviously isn't going to work for you. But I just love it. Um, I've got shadow right there today. And you would never, t or this blush. And you never be able to tell because of that. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And I had to tell you guys about it because I've been loving it that much. You see it on my fingers there, right? Obviously. Now look. <laughs> Poof! It just blends right into my skin. Which is exactly what makes it so great for blending out any color. And it works with any color I use. Purples, greens, orange, yellow, whatever I use. This blends it out perfectly. So, yeah, I wish I would have got the other ones. I would have, like, just used this forever. <laughs> I would have, really. Okay, and then one more makeup item. I was going to actually show you guys. Yeah, I think I will. I picked these up a while back, and I was never going to get the other ones in the, you know, in the collection. But I have been loving these so dang much that I think I'm going to go ahead and get them and maybe depot them and put them in a palette and have my own electric palette that um, it probably, after you purchase all of these, it'll probably be around $35, but you're going to have a whole heck of a lot more product, because <laughs> I think these are probably thrice the size of the electric palette, and these are NYX's Primal Colors, and all of them, the names on all of them are called Hot Whatever, so this is Hot Rose, Hot Black, and Hot Orange. Okay, and then they've got purple, fuchsia, blue, oh, gorgeous blue, yellow, uh, red, you know, they've got quite a few of them. But let me show you this black, you guys. This is what I have been using nonstop since I got it to push into my eyelashes, which is the only time I ever use black eyeshadow, ever, unless I'm doing a look specifically or on other people, obviously. But this is the blackest black Every time that I see this shadow and use it, I think of that song in my head. Bluer than blue, bluer than blue. Well, I think blacker than black. <laughs> Stupid. Look at that. Look at that insanity. It's like the color of void. <laughs> Serious. And it goes on that black too. Insane. Crazy, and these are five ninety nine, and that will cost. I mean, that will last you probably the lifetime of your eyelids. <laughs> excellent for pushing into your eyelashes. I mean, excellent. You don't even have to put on a tight liner. It's just gorgeous. I love it, and it's the only thing that I use anymore now. And you can tell how much love it's getting too compared to the other ones. Look what it does to your hands. I mean, it's. A messy SOB. When you break that product out to use it, you better have a wet wipe handy, <laughs> some makeup, you know, remover, whatever, and be very, very careful with it. I have destroyed the carpet in my in my room here from using that, but that's okay because I'm going to tear it up and lay down um, slate anyways. But if you don't want to destroy the carpet in your room, if you happen to like your carpet, then yeah, you definitely want to. It's it's crazy. Okay, and then this one is hot pink. And I'll just show you guys these real quick. These are really gorgeous, you guys. Really gorgeous. I don't know why they don't get enough, um, you know, talk here on on YouTube. Okay. There you go. There's pink and orange. 
Hmm? Is that what I'm talking about? <laughs> they're they're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But Nick it, Nick's always knocks it out of the park when when it comes to stuff that like this. I I think that they do a splendid job. Okay, so um, I hit the Inglot sale, <laughs> and I had to actually look back. I had to actually look back through my Saturday Smileys on my last one to make sure that I didn't talk about these. But I've seen a few others talking about them, so I kind of thought, well, maybe it was me that was talking about them, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, I hit that big old blowout they have on the Inglot old you know, Inglot old um, pans, and I got the purple one, and. Uh, no, I mean, do I do I really need any more purple shadows? No, no, I don't. Nor do I need any more of these. I have plenty as well. But it's this freaking palette, you guys. <laughs> it reminds me of my cell phone. You know, I mean, because look, it's like, huh? <laughs> that's awesome, ain't it? I mean, I see every time I see people use it, I see them kind of swing it off to the side like this, and. I, I don't know. I've never even thought about doing that. I push it up just like um, just like a slide-out keyboard. <laughs> Worked great. But gorgeous, gorgeous colors, you guys. My only problem with these, even though I adore them, they're kind of difficult to blend. out. And because of that, I find myself not reaching for them as much as I thought that I would. Because... I can't blend them out very well. It doesn't matter what I do. I find them a little bit difficult to blend. I've really got to work at it. Um, sometimes much to the chagrin of my eyeballs. Quite some time ago, I was in TJ Maxx and they had a line, a skincare line on the shelves from a Jeffrey Dover. And I picked up, it's called Jeffrey Dover Skin Effects. And they had the glycolic peel pads, uh, the system, you know, and then they had the intense night repair and the intensive eye cream and just a whole line of them. And I got one of each. I thought, eh, why not? I got one of each. I did a little bit of research on them, and they are kind of the high end of CVS as far as skincare goes, you know, of the CVS line. I, I, pretty much exclusive to CVS. And why they were at TJ Maxx, I don't know. But I picked up one of each, and by the time I was done with using that, I was so happy with the results that I had seen. So I went down to TJ Maxx, and lo and behold, there's more than there was before. And so I bought a buttload, and it is what I've been using essentially for the last six months or so. I use my serum, uh, my my um, Olay Regenerous Serum, you know, and I still use my oils, but for when it comes to wanting my glycolic peel, this is just so excellent. It's really good on my sensitive skin. Well, my skin isn't sensitive. That rash, it's really good for that. And then I use the uh, Intensive Overnight Repair Cream. A gorgeous product. Gorgeous. It absorbs really quick. Oh, no. It absorbs really quick, and it just, poof, it's gone suddenly, and it's just beautiful. And then the Cell to Cell Continuous Action Anti-Wrinkle Care. And this is what I wear during the day. It is nice and light. It absorbs quickly. I don't, I don't feel like it makes my makeup stick to it, you know, which I get. I have that problem with moisturizers a lot, and I, I, just, I can't stand it. And I can't stand feeling like I can, you know, like it's tacky. And none of these products do that. I see a notable difference in my skin when I use them. So if you guys are ever down at TJ Maxx and you see the Jeffrey Dover Skin by Dr. Jeffrey Dover Skin Effects, um, grab them because they're really nice. And I really, really like the peel. The peel system is very nice and cheap too. You know, relatively cheap. So that's all I got you guys. Um, I am going to close this video out and telling you, yeah, I love you all so very much and um, I just want to thank you all so much for coming here and watching my videos and hanging in there with me when I haven't uploaded in days and days and days. I know you're supposed to stay on some kind of a schedule and, and I promise you that I will get back to that schedule. I, I just, I adore you all. I really do. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye. Oh yeah. The winner, winner. <laughs> Sorry, I totally forgot. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, winner of this month's giveaway is Katrina Hamilton. She has been following me. I keep getting a movement or something 
and I think it's just the candle, but I keep getting... Katrina Hamilton, um, the, how I keep track of the people that, and it's not just who shares me the most, it's who interacts with me the most during a month's time, okay? And it's supposed to run from the 19th to the 19th, okay? Uh, freaking out. I keep getting, like, in my peripheral vision, I am like, I'm not seeing anything on the viewfinder, but in my peripheral vision, I am like seeing... I feel like I, I got a booger or something in my eye. I'm fucking tripping out. <laughs> Anyways, Katrina, um, she has, we met like a long time ago on YouTube, and I can't remember if it was before I started making videos or like right around the exact same time, but uh, she disappeared for quite some time, and I always wondered, where the heck did she go? And then I seen her on somebody's video. I can't remember whose it was, but I'm like, Katrina, is that you? And she's like, woman, and I don't know, something happened, her computer got broke, or I, I don't know what it was. <sighs> you guys tell me, please tell me you're not seeing something, somebody standing beside me. <laughs> I have got some fucking serious goosebumps going on here. I... Beep. Katrina has been engaging with me far and above anybody else this this um this month, you know. She's been you know sharing all of my videos um in multiple er you know, in multiple arenas. Um she's talking about me on other videos, you know, on other people's channels. She's just been prolific. So so Katrina Hamilton is my winner this month and Katrina, I want to say to you directly that I know we you and I have had many discussions about our you know, our love for makeup and all this kind of stuff. And I know that you have your fair share of high end stuff too, you know. So I hope that I am able to even send you a package, you know, all of the stuff that I give away, I bought with my own money. I didn't have companies sending it to me, you know, to, to, you know, help me with the nice little giveaway every month. I buy it with my own money, and it's more often than not just, like, goodies that I found in a clearance bin, or at the dollar store, or, you know, but all the items that I do get, I actually purchase and bring them home and try them out myself. Sometimes you might need a primer. Uh, sometimes you might be weary of fallout. But the color, the pigmentation is always going to be there. And with the primer, uh, with, with the primer, you're going to get, you know, it's going to stay on your eye without, son of a, Man, I swear to God, if I play this video back and see a freaking dark, like, cloud looming over my shoulder, I am going to crap my draws right here. Right here in front of you. So, when you send me your address in the email, I need you to tell me what kind of jewelry do you like to wear, okay? Do you like um, big chunky stuff? Do you like little dainty stuff, you know? Or what kind of jewelry do you like to wear? Um, also, what colors of makeup do you like to wear? Now, normally I don't do that. I just throw together a big old package and send it out. But, so far, the winners of my giveaways have... I haven't really known them very well, so it w you know it was at the time of the giveaway, anyways, at the time that they won it. So it was just kind of a, uh, you know, a, a, just a universal in general giveaway. But you and I know each other much better than that, and so I would kind of like to at least pick out some stuff that I hope you'll use out of my giveaway stuff. You know what I mean? Um, also, I have pulled together all the names of the people that uh, said that they would like all that makeup that I got, the um, dollar store stuff, you know. There were several of them that said, I, I'll take it if you don't, you know, because I told you in the video that I, I didn't want to keep that. I was going to give it away to somebody. Not a giveaway either, just to give it to somebody. And there were several of you that replied, I will take it, you know, I could use it. So I'm just going to take all your names. I've already got your names all printed out. I just haven't been able to find the freaking time to cut them all up, put them in a hat, and let my grandson pull out her name. That's how I'm going to do it, okay? I don't know if I'm freaking myself out here or what. So I love you all so very much. Um, 
please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you are watching this video. Katrina, send me your information. Thank you all for doing what you've been doing. Okay? All right. I love you all. Bye-bye.